Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got a review for you of this little guy right here. This is the Tactile Turn Bolt Action Mini. Um, first off, though, I want to thank Tactile Turn. Uh, full disclosure here, this guy was sent to me by the maker. Um, I had previously reviewed the Tactile Turn Bolt Action um, and found it to be an, an absolutely incredible pen. When I saw the Mini was released, I said, uh, guys, can I uh, check one of these guys out? They said, yeah, of course. Um, but mind you, I said in my full disclaimer, don't, don't talk about the good, the great, the bad, the ugly. Might be a gem, might be junk. They still sent it along, but nonetheless, um, they, you know, yeah, I'm doing my best not to let that uh, affect my review, and we have to assume this is the best quality controlled one of these guys ever. Next thing, size comparison. This is uh, actually pr pretty damn small pen. Um, we'll put it up right here, first up against uh, some, some some standards. Here's your uh, Big Clicks stick pen. Here is a Pilot G2 regular size pen. Uh, here it is against the Urban Survival Gear TIE Scribe Mini, the Pocket Jada, a pen I stole from Hampton Inn, and here it is against the um, Tactile Turn Bolt Action uh, uh, Short, I believe is the proper term. The uh, th this is not the mini version. This is the other smaller version. I don't happen to have my uh, my full size one uh, with me at the moment, so nonetheless, um, there you go. Next thing, um, like I said, this is a, a shorter version of the tactile turn bolt action of this guy. This guy is a gem, so uh, yeah, there, there you go. And it is a hundred and twenty bucks. Is configured with the titanium and the Damascus bolt on here. Now, because I have already done a review of the full size, and this is literally just one of these guys, except uh, well, you know, shrunken down a little bit. I, I I have a very firm belief that literally the difference between these two things is about this much barrel. Um, I'm not going to go fully into it, but I'll talk a little bit about the differences uh, between this guy and the full size and uh, on the good side and on the bad side. You know, honestly, on the good side, there's really not much different. It is still available in copper. It's still available in bronze and titanium. It's still got the Damascus stud option that you can see right here. I'm sorry, titanium Damascus. Um, this thumb stud option there, that's that's good. Um, it does have a milling under the clip, which I actually, oh no, that's present in the original as well. Um, this guy right here is, has it as well. I, for some reason, I thought it wasn't in the original, but you can see right there, Tactile Turn 2019. Nice. Can't argue with that. Um, and look, it's still got the same stuff, right? It's a, still a great texture, still a great clip, a great action, a detail. I mean, this is still a very, very good pen. And the fact is, it's using a, a refill that is pretty damn good. This is using a Pilot G2 uh, MIDI refill here. Go ahead and pop that loose there. Okay, beautiful. And so we can see here, this is a Pilot G2 Mini refill. Um, and so it writes very well. I mean, overall, I got to say, in terms of differences, the, the biggest one is the size. And the size is going to be, well, if you wanted something smaller, then guess what? You found the great freaking pen for you. Um, and so I, I appreciate that very much. But there aren't that many differences. And that's a beautiful thing. It maintains most of what, the, in fact, almost everything that makes the full size beautiful. And, uh, you know, keeps it just at a smaller size. So um, to me, at least, that's the good here. Instead, it's got all the options of the original one, just at a smaller size. Um, on the bad side, there are a couple of little things. Um, let's start with the price is the same as the full size. Like I said, this is about 120 bucks. That's with the Damascus or uh, Titanium Damascus. Uh, bolt you got going on here. Um, that, that's purely an option. It just looks pretty, that's all. Um, but yeah, it's the same price as the uh, equivalent full size one. So, you know, take that for whatever it's worth. I'm pretty neutral about that, though, because honestly, it's made in the States, and it's a very nicely done object. Um, however, there are two big downsides here with this guy. Um, to start with, the refills are uh, a little harder to find. These are Pilot G2 Mini refills, and they are not sold on their own. Pilot, in their infinite freaking wisdom, does not just let you buy a box of refills, so instead you need to buy a G2 Mini pen. And you can get them for about two bucks each, and you end up having to sacrifice some plastic for the process, which is really frustrating to me as an ecologically thinking sort of dude. Guys, come on. But nonetheless, less. Um, it's about two bucks for a refill. You can get them freely on Amazon and whatnot, as well as Tactile Third has started selling them. But um, they, 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 that's definitely a thing. You can get different colors of them and whatnot, but um, for the most part, there's really only one refill that works with this guy. There's not the same variety as when you get a night, uh, uh, I'm sorry, a uh, 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 pen that works with a variety of different refills. In this case, I believe I'm running this guy. Oh, that's right. I'm running this guy in a pocket refill right here, the uh, Easy Flow. But there is a full size version that takes a full size G2 where you can swap in Mont Blanc, etc. So, you know, do keep that in mind. Um, So that lack of variety is definitely a downside. The other big issue with this guy is as you shrink this guy down, ergonomically speaking, it starts to get a little weirder because to start with a bolt action pen, you need to hold in a certain way in order to get this guy down there. And you are getting to the point now where for a lot of people, if you hold it like this and you deploy it, you you are going to write all over your hand. Um, is that the end of the world? Absolutely not. Maybe it'll remind you to get a longer pen. 
it's a joke, by the way. But nonetheless, um, it, it, that's definitely a thing. The other thing to remember is that as you go here, you know, if I hold the original one and I put it in a writing position, really, th there's only one position that doesn't work well, and that's with the clip down. But for the most part, everything else, the bolt is sort of above the hand. And this is perhaps a factor of hand size more than anything. And remember, this is the short version of the original. But on this guy, when you've got this guy writing, there is really only one good position. Because bolt down is uncomfortable, clip down is uncomfortable, so you really just have this one option here. And if you are a lefty, the problem is magnified a little bit more. I mean, you 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 still have just the one option, but it's then you've got the clip up against your thumb. So if you are a lefty, this might not be as great of an option for you as uh, the, the the full size ones, where you do have at least a little bit more in the way of space here. And you, you've got you know I don't know. So anyways, um, th th that's definitely a downside. And so those are the two downsides of this guy relative to the original one, is that the uh, the refill is much more limited, and ergonomically speaking, they're kind of at the very low end of what I think you can pull off in a bolt action pen and still have it be reasonably ergonomic and have it, you know, be something you can write with for any reasonable time. So, um, there, there you go. On the final conclusion front, look, um, if you felt like the original small bolt action pen was just a little too small, then, or a little too big, that is, uh, boy, do I have a pen for you. I mean, seriously, it's basically the same damn thing, just minus a chunk of the middle. Um, and that's, that's great. It's got the same options, same texture, same clip, same action, same detail. The only real downsides are that the, the change in refill means you got a little bit less choice. And when you make the pen smaller, you got a lot less real estate for gripping. But, you know, honestly, it's, it's a really nice thing. And size-wise, I think is sort of what's most important here. And it, it comes in in very good territory, right? I mean, uh, with this guy, you are really not that far off of the, um, Oh, uh, where are you? The Fisher Space Pen, for instance. You can see that this isn't markedly bigger than a bullet-style space pen here. Um, although it is when you're, uh, the, the space pen gets a little bit bigger when you're writing with it. But you get something like that, or the Machine Era Classic. Again, you are right in that same sort of vicinity here. This is not a big pen. And even relative to the Urban Survival Gear Tie Scribe Bolt Mini, which is a, another great pen and another really good option, this guy is smaller still. And so you gain a little bit of, well, actually, you lose a little bit of height, but you, uh, you definitely gain some versatility by having something as small as this is. Um, and so that's kind of the big question here is just size-wise, what do you want? If you are not, you know, uh, Let's put it this way. If size is not, if size doesn't matter to you, then you know what? Um, I would probably actually end up going with the short one rather than the mini. Uh, both ergonomically speaking and mostly in terms of refill choices. You have all kinds of choices in Parker style refills. You have only one choice here. I think that's going to be a better bet. But if you are really interested in that size, if you are really interested in having a pen that is small uh, uh, among every or above everything else, this guy even fits in the key and the, the, the key pocket of some jeans, by the way. That's the size we're talking about here. I mean, I carried it that way in a couple of occasions. But anyways, if if the size thing is most what is what's most important to you, then that's a, that's a beautiful thing. And you know what? Honestly, if the refill thing doesn't bother you and you're a righty, uh, this is a gem just like its older brothers or sisters, I don't know, gender pens, whatever. Um, but nonetheless, it is a, a, a beautiful thing. Um, and if those things do matter, then just size it up a little bit. Go with the regular, uh, with the small size and you're golden. But there you go. Um, I hope this has been interesting to you and that you uh, enjoyed my giving this guy a turn and that uh, you're not going to bolt away from the channel now that I've finished this review. Uh, I hope this has been interesting. Have yourselves an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.